welcome to Gray County Life at Home. It is our summer series, people, and I think we're in for a huge treat. You will see that my screen is a little blurry, and you'll understand why that is as we move through the show and figure out what we're highlighting and learning how to cook at home with our celebrity chefs today. Mary Jane, you look amazing. We are ready for the poolside recipe <laughs> fest oh. that I think is going to be a lot of fun today. Oh, absolutely. It's always a lot of fun with our Rogers TV guests. Um, and we're introducing um, Lois Taylor and Diane Austin, who have been volunteering with the Rogers TV for about two years now and featuring their program that they host. It's called It's Happening Here with Lois and Diane. And they are promoting our, our local businesses, not only to highlight them and feature them, particularly through the pandemic, but also to, to encourage all the community members to shop local. So their programming is not only informational, um, it's promoting our community, but it's just hilarious. Have you ever connected <laughs> with our dynamic duo, Lois and Diane? It's happening here, and today it really is happening. <laughs> They're going to dazzle and entertain you with their summer cocktail recipes. Now, how can we not start the summer off on the deck or on the beach without a nice, cool summer cocktail to toast the season. So welcome, Lois, and welcome, Diane, and we are ready to be dad. <laughs> well, I hope we live up to the hype. I do, too. <laughs> no, <I'm scared. laughs> Thank you, Diane, for hosting. Oh, I'm so excited. You know I've been excited about yes. this. I yes. just, and I Googled a whole bunch of different recipes, and I will be honest with you, the only one that I use is this one we're going to do first, um, and the other ones, I found them and loved the names, yeah. <laughs> much to Mark's chagrin, I think. <laughs> and the funny thing is, too, she had all the liquor in her, the liquor cabinet, she didn't have to buy any. How so. sad is that? Sad. <laughs> anyway, either, you know, it's really old stuff because I don't party. <laughs> or I drink a lot, but I'm not sure. What do we do first? The first one is, this is for a big party. It's called the Strawberry Lemonade Sangria. Ooh, that sounds good. Now, what it is, is Lois, if you want, I'm going to give you the sure. wine. Yep. And you could put the wine in yes, here. Yes, absolutely. You see where we ha actually have an ice thing in there. And this is actually a emulsifier. So I can add some of the fruit to the bottom for the sangria. And what oh, that, that is awesome. Add, yeah, so I can add some raspberries in here. I'm just gonna, whoop, you're mousy. Anyway, I'll add a bit of raspberries in there. I can add some strawberries, which um, I'll do this. And they can go in there just a little bit, just so that when it sits in the sangria, yep, the whole thing, my dolly. Okay. Yep. <laughs> So this is Sauvignon Blanc. <laughs> Diane, does it matter what kind of wine? It doesn't matter. As long okay. as it's white wine, it's whatever your favorite is. Okay. Just going to set that there for a minute. And then I put it in the wrong one, unfortunately. So let's just do that again. I can't get it off. Oh, here I can get it. Thank you. What else are we supposed to do? That? Why don't we just put it in here? Oh, perfect. <laughs> Pardon my fingers. So anyway, raspberries and strawberries. Mm. Just put them around the bottom here. And what the, it does is the flavor from the fruit sort of gets uh, into the sangria, plus the fruit gets really tasty. Mm, yeah, you can just sell it. Is you that can. enough? Uh, I'm right. just going to add a little more. And just because so the rest of it, we'll just put in the bottom of our glass. Oh, I see. And I'll okay. add some more raspberries. Mm. You can do that. And just okay. put it back on. Okay. This goes on top. And like, Oh, like this? Yes. Oh, isn't that the coolest thing ever? Yeah. So then what we'll do next is we have to add club soda. Oh, okay. How much do mm. we put? The whole thing. Oh, okay. that's why it's a party drink. Yes. Diane, it's where did you drink. get that awesome dispenser? What was that? Sorry? Where did you get that amazing dispenser for this drink? 
I actually bought it. Um, one of the stores was closing. I think it was Flower Expression. Oh. So I bought it um, because I love to party. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and then the next one is it should it's pink lemonade. There's where you get the strawberry lemonade. So this is Minute Maid. Yeah, Rose. and it tells you, yes. And it tells you just do half the can, but hey, let's be daring. Do you want the whole can? Put the whole thing in. All right. Yeah, <laughs> put the whole thing in, okay. just, just for fun. Okay. And then it calls for simple syrup. And what the simple syrup is, is one part, one part sugar and one part water. And then you boil it down. And then you have the simple syrup and you just put that in. And two cups. It's called for two cups of strawberries, which I can do, but we put it in the emulsifier. Um, do you want me to put that in? Not all of it, uh, mainly because I'd like some in the bottom of our glass. Oh, I see. Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah, that? that's great. Okay. And then um, half of the raspberries. Okay. Mm. And then next. Oh. We've hit a wee bit of a bump. Right. Pop back on. Ooh, I want to know what's next. <laughs> well, you know, I'm thinking about <laughs> the, the fruit. And then you've got your little spout here. We've got these little glasses. We put fruit in and then just serve it to our guests. So we'll wait until that um, emulsifies let, let a it emulsify bit. a little bit. Okay. Absolutely. So do you want me to do the pickle de gallo? That would be great. So, okay. So I have a question, uh, Diane. Yes. Now, how many, how many people does that, um, that drink serve? So if you normally <laughs> Lois and I are at the same party too, but, <laughs> but normally I will double the batch and it would probably do because you, a lot of times people have, will have beer or something else as well. Right. So, yep. um, I've had it where there's like 30 people mm -hmm. and, and it's, it's doubling the batch and it's doubling the batch. Right. And okay. most of the time it's not gone because oh. it can be a little potent. But it's not as potent as the holy water that we're going to be doing later. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I, 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 I printed um, off summer drinks all the recipes. So also. I had a look at the uh, quantity of, uh, of alcohol yeah, that's alcohol. going to be summer drinks. And yeah. yes, th they could be pretty potent. Yeah, yeah. Designated drivers <laughs> are important. Designated drivers at any summer party are important. So we're going to start with my pico de gallo that our producer Daryl taught me how to make. It's fresh recipe from Mexico. Ooh, yes, Super Mexico. Yeah. So I've already pre-cut. Um, all of these yummy items. So it's um, it calls for red. Hmm. Well, hopefully they come back. These, uh, you know, I uh, I have to say, well, well, their their screens are a wee bit frozen there. Um, what a uh, an ambitious thing for these ladies to do for our community right during COVID to start a show. This has been amazing for our community. Well, not That's only that, too. they're also featuring all the businesses um, and all the variety of the businesses because it's really important to keep our businesses alive, particularly through the pandemic. Yeah. yeah. So I bought some, yeah. I had Diane buy this as well, but it's called Spike from Lawson's downtown. It's the best seasoning. Oh, it's amazing. So, so you what is it? Pepper. <laughs> Pardon? What is the spike, Lois? Oh, it's called spike. It's called spike. It's a mixture of what, Lois? No, oh, okay. it's um, special. Oh. They have to kill you if they told you. I don't know exactly. <laughs> it's just yummy. It's magic. Yeah. It's okay. It's better than you know how Mrs. Dash, some people use that for everything. Yes. The spike is 10 times better. Yeah. And oh, then wow. Yeah. 
This is the easiest salsa and it's so fresh tasting. It's amazing. Well, it's more lime, it's more lime, sure. Right? Yeah. That's really spice it up. Yeah. What does Pinko de Gaia, Gaia mean? Daryl? Salsa. Pinko? Yes, I think it does. I think it means the beak, the beak of, the, of the rooster. Gallo is like, yeah, it's like rooster. Oh, okay. So because it's all really small, I think that's how like, I you know, see. You know, like a chicken but would Can you up. see that? Doesn't that look amazing? She's got a little bit of um, <laughs> olive oil Oopsies. in the bottom. Just the, well, actually it's not, it's uh, canola. So if you can chop it up really finely, probably finer than what I have, but I mean. And then she serves it. Yes, with the chippies. Would you like to try? I would love to try it. You might get thirsty. Oh, yes, we might. But hey. <laughs> mm. Oh, is that spicy? Mm. That's good. Mm. Mm. Well, oh, I, I'd like to make a suggestion, Diane, as to where the next Rogers get together is held. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Diane. Now, what's next? What's next is the. Gypsy Texan for two, uh, for two. All right, ooh. so I'll go get the, we need, the in this recipe, it calls for two ounces of gold tequila, three ounces of peach liqueur, three ounces of ginger ale, and three ounces of cranberry juice. All right, so anyway, so this is an ounce. So what you do is for, when it says three ounces, you put like one ounce in each glass and half an ounce, one and a half. We'll just do it that way. Okay. And I got special glasses for this one. Oh. Well, this is, this, it's a beautiful venue. That's okay. for sure. This summer is anyway. going to be a nice one, I think, for everybody. Oh, oh my head. The other one. Okay, here we go. Thank you. So we mix it all in there, Lois. All right. So does that mean four ounces of tequila? No, or two? I did it for two. <laughs> Are you coming over? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, tequila is a big drink in the Texas. Yes, it is. And in Mexico, Mexico, it's huge. All right. I'll get the other highball. No, and then you're going to want three ounces. ounces of peach liqueur. Okay. Or we're using peach schnapps. Um, remember back in the day, fuzzy navels were oh all the, my gosh. sex on the beach. Yep. Mm -hmm. Is that three or four? Three. three. And then the three ounces of ginger ale. Oh, it looks amazing. Well, I think what really impressed me was they had all the uh, ingredients for all the different recipes already on hand. <laughs> So that must be quite, quite a party liquor cabinet they have. She <laughs> sure does. I have a whole liquor cabinet in the living room. Yes. I sort of, you know, now, now we know where it is, right? Yeah, now? now you know. So then you can add some mint. Oh, I love mint. There's mint. Do you add it to this part? It or? says you can add mint and lime. Or is that as a garnish after? It's a, it can be a garnish. Okay. But if you want to add like, mint inside, oh, just okay. to give yeah, it that flavor. That. I love mint. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, give it a shake. And then what you do is then you put cherries on a skewer. Cheers. <laughs> you can tell we're not professional. <laughs> oh, I think it looks pretty awesome. It's called gypsy. So, yeah, it is. so are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. This is going to look like a party was here for sure. Well, We're absolutely. This table. Absolutely. You can save some for, or maybe not for Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just garnish it. And there is your tipsy Texan cocktail. Uh, it looks amazing. Oh my God. It's so pretty and it's just fun. 
Well, it, it yeah. just fits the name. Cheers. It fits the name. Uh, tipsy Texan cocktail. Like they just go together. Yeah. Yes, it does. It rhymes. Next time, can you get the maraschino cherries with the stem? Because yes. I can tie a knot in my mouth with the stem. Oh, there's a visual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just saying. But yeah, okay. All right. What's next? Diane? What's next is we're going to actually make the fat cooker. And I'm just going to go get the recipe and get the ingredients for that. So hold on. I have to say, actually, when I was looking at the ingredient list, that did look like one that looked rather tasty to me, too. Well, we did say that uh, the Rogers team are, are very multi-talented. Um, so being able to tie a knot in the cherry stem is you know, one of the featured qualities that are required by Rogers volunteers. <laughs> I have a feeling we're going to get into so this one. Goes for <laughs> <laughs> the doctor. We yeah. need a doctor. Here. Dr. McGillicuddy's appointment. You I do. I've already oh, seen sick. the doctor. I've already seen the doctor. Don't need it. And then it's two ounces of vodka. Oh, I. Yes, I have two bottles of vodka. <laughs> we might polish this one off. Yep. No, we're not. One, one ounce of coconut rum. We'll just drink it. We can. One ounce of coconut rum. A definite summer staple. Absolutely. It smells like down south, doesn't it? Like... Yeah, uh, sunscreen and well, coconut rum. I, yeah, I, I use stuff. Malibu rum as sunscreen. <laughs> orange juice. It doesn't say how much. Um, it doesn't. Juice. So I would just put it, top it up. So that's the orange juice. Yeah. So do you want a bit of both? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Orange or pineapple. We're going to do both just to be creative. Yeah. Yeah, we may not like it. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm pretty sure we're going. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to give it a shake. I think I put too much of the juice in. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. It doesn't really sit on there. It, it does not. So and once again, we'll put them in our glasses with ice. Give it a good shake there. But I guess apparently you can't give it a good shake because you you bruise the alcohol. Ah. I just thought you could oh. when you felt oh. drinking too much alcohol, but hey, apparently you can lose alcohol. <laughs> Did not know that. I didn't know that either. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. All right. And then you garnish with the vo or vodka. With orange. Then <laughs> you just garnish with your orange slice. Just like that. Oh, that looks so great. Wow. Yeah. What I do. I can't have more than you. So well, this <laughs> What I do is when I get any type of drink with fruit on it, I sort of just tip it in, tip it in to give it that. That's a good idea. Oh, you know, with some of those extra pieces of fruit that have been sitting in a, a, a cocktail beverage, you know, so you can scoop out the fruit and toss it over ice cream. Oh, wow, Mary Jane. <laughs> oh, is that ever good? That would be good over ice cream. This is good. Mm. We're just sipping. Mm. <laughs> Isn't that good? That's really Very good. refreshing. And when it's really, really cold, it'll be good on a hot summer's day. Yes. Oh, this is the holy water. <laughs> well, when I look this one up, it actually says you got to be very careful with your ingredients. Make sure you measure them correctly, because if you don't, you will, it could send you straight to heaven. <laughs> it's so powerful. So straight to heaven or? Well, I'd like to say heaven, but <laughs> we don't have any glasses. Oh, we don't. Which, okay. which size? What, what, what kind of oh, grab? And why don't we just use these for now? This is for the three of other lots. Okay. Okay, so let's use that. This one is one ounce of vodka. Okay, so put it put it in here again. It's the nice thing is once you have these here. staples, you can make all different kinds of cocktails in the summer, which is awesome. Oh, 
Although sometimes it's hard to keep those uh, ingredients on hand, I think. Once you start on them, I think they might disappear rather quickly and you're going to have to restock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. One ounce of rum. Rum. And just regular rum. It's not the coconut rum. And then, of course, the peach schnapps again. Oh, really? Yep. We're forgetting the blue. Well, that's next. Yeah. You can, okay, do the cura, cura kale, curacao. I thought it was curacao. Yeah. Curious. That How is a half, half an ounce. Yeah, exactly. Or an ounce. Do that. Okay. And then a half an ounce of peach schnapps. And I'm going to go and get the pitcher of actual lemonade. Oh, you made fresh lemonade? Yes, I did. Aww. Oh. So I did an ounce of that too by mistake. <laughs> oh, I know what. We'll just double it. We'll double the uh, vodka. I'll put another ounce of vodka in so then. Oh, oh, I see. So if you miscalculate on one, you need to miscalculate on the, the other uh, alcohol. Sure. End up doubling the recipe. <laughs> and sip, sip very carefully. Yes. I think we'd be in big trouble, Mary Jane, if we were there today. Oh, well, I think so, because... These are really special cocktail recipes that you would serve uh, for your guests coming over for a barbecue, maybe some barbecue ribs and potatoes and vegetables. Um, they would Absolutely. go really I didn't even do it with burgers. People are okay with bur burgers. I actually had a venison burger, I think oh. for the first time about two, three weeks ago. And you, you could serve it with that even. Give it a shake. Wow. Do you have ice? Yes, I do. Good. Did you do the splash of Lois? Did you do the splash of pineapple? Oh, we had a bit of an accident. <laughs> we'll do that we again. Saved we saved it. We saved it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> we saved it. So they were telling me to shake it hard. I did. My fault. Yeah. <laughs> So, just do a little bit in there. Oh, you did. Look how pretty blue that is. Oh, wow. Pretty Lovely. Isn't that pretty? That's a good beach drink. Oh, we forgot the, the lemonade. No, no, the pineapple. Pineapple juice. Well, let's just, when we've got a spoon, we'll just stir it. There we Perfect. go. Perfect. We'll give it a stir because it's already been shaken <laughs> all over. <laughs> so, go ahead. Just a little. Nice. Okay, and I'll put the ice in there. Yeah, so what I love is um, just so that I'm not going to the bar all the time to help people, I make this big one to offer them. It's not that strong. It's just, you know, wine and club soda and the fruit, of course, when it ferments in there. And there's also, cheers. I wonder what this is like. That looks amazing. Oh. It's oh, not, that's good. It's good. Which, That's a lot which of, of, the, of the alcohol beverages turns it blue. The curacao. Oh, okay. this, this bottle right here. Oh, what it, is that? It's, it's actually blue inside a blue bottle. Oh, okay, it's, it's quite nice. It's quite mm -hmm. nice. You can put that in a lot of stuff. So sometimes I make Jello shooters, and I'll. Oh. Well, I'm feeling like quite a novice because <laughs> a lot of these ingredients, except for the fruit and the fruit juices, are um, not familiar to me. And um, I have a very, I guess, very limited palate. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be honest with you, Lois and I would probably just have wine. <laughs> <laughs> but if I really want to dress it up. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. if you have a shower for oh, someone yep. or, you know, yeah, yeah. then yes. it's nice to have this. Uh, actually, you get a lot of use out of that yeah. for a large fruit, right? You do. Absolutely, yeah. you do when you fill it up. Yeah, but it, yeah you really do. do we, I, we should, uh, I want you to try. You want to try this? Sure, Let's yeah. put some ice in there. Okay. Yeah. And um, can you tell me what you think of the sangria? Lois, sure. And then we put some fruit in the bottom of the glasses. Put fruit in the bottom of your glass. Okay. You can do whatever you want. 
Sangria is one of those awesome drinks that you can switch it up and put different kinds of fruit, different kinds of wine if you're a red drinker. Absolutely. Yeah, Yeah. love sangria. It's really versatile. I've actually done them where I've chopped up apples and oranges as well as I have really uh, nice. I, I like I like it as well. Here's a highball for you. Oh. I okay. printed off all the recipes. Oh, so that, awesome! Um, so I, I will have them on hand the next time I go shopping and looking for ingredients. Perfect. <laughs> so I'll Not be true. seeing you at the local liquor store, Mary Jane. <laughs> <laughs> We've got yeah. like two minutes left. So if there's yeah. some, any but tweaking, <laughs> anyway. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to show you a couple little minutes trick my mom left, showed me. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to show you a little trick that my mom showed me when I was a kid. You know how you have the green stems and the strawberries? Yeah. You just get a good straw, put it in the end of the strawberry, and push it out. Oh, it, that's fabulous! And it takes the core right in. Takes the core, the core and right everything. In there. So that's I've been doing that all the time. So then you can just put it on a skewer. Do whatever you want with that, but it is so handy. And then you get more strawberry. <laughs> yes. I think that would be a nice garnish too to have a few on the straw in the drink if it was a tall drink. That's a really good tip. I'm gonna use that one. So I'm not sure we've got a bit of a blip there. Uh well, we we certainly want people to tune in to the, the show that Lois and Diane host. It's happening here with Lois and Diane and to view their show and support our local businesses uh, because that is so important. It's very I important think to me as a downtown local business Yeah, that has suffered with the bridge and then with COVID. I mean, we're going to places now that a lot of, I was just approached on Sunday by a lady, a uh, fellow Shriner's wife, saying, I didn't even know there was half those businesses that we go to. And she's made it a point to, you know, to patronize these places. So, I and mean, we have fun doing it. Yes. yes. They're, they're yes. so appreciative. And as far as the chamber, I like it because it's showing support from my perspective as well, that you are important. Absolutely. You know, and ladies, if this segment is any indication of how much fun you have when you're out there, I think that show is going to go for a long time. Thank you so much for joining us for our Celebrity Rogers TV host summer series. We'll see everybody next week on Rogers Thank TV. You. Have a great week. Cheers. This program is brought to you by Ignite TV. Now you're in command. Visit rogers.com for more details. Call the Rogers TV viewer response line. Email us or connect with us on social media.